Uh, <coughs> I'd like to thank uh, Shanar and Elvan um, again for inviting us for the, the Human Rights uh, Center of Big University and the Chef Afluk Derne. Um, uh, I think this year I'll keep my, my uh, comments brief because I'm going to talk about the, the law on the National Intelligence Agency, which for me is the, I think this year, the single uh, law, most threatening law for the principle of transparency and accountability. Um, now, this law, I'm, I'll just briefly outline it, was passed in April, um, and it basically allows sweeping powers uh, to the intelligence services. It puts the intelligence agency, the National Intelligence Agency, as the top dog agency, um, with almost unfettered uh, access to private information, private data, um, and also an ability to uh, protect itself from any form of investigation, uh, fundamentally uh, against the principle of transparency and accountability. Uh, this new law contains a provision that basically means that any MEET uh, National Intelligence Agency officer um, is exempt from prosecution uh, if it can be argued arbitrarily argued that what they were doing, the crime that they were committing was was happened in the context of a, an intelligence agency operation. Uh, what that means is effectively that you get away with torture, you get away with waterboarding, uh, and you don't get prosecuted for it. Uh, we know other places in the world where that's happened, but putting this into law in Turkey is a very bad, uh, sets a very bad precedent. Um, we haven't yet seen how this law will be used, uh, implemented. We've been assured that it's for the greater good, um, but when people tell you things are for the greater good, you have to be very suspicious, of course. Um, the other part of that law that I think is very worrying uh, is that the principle is one, on the one hand, there's the principle of whistleblowers, which isn't recognized in Turkish law. Um, and the other principle alongside whistleblowers is the right of the press to report things that are in the public interest. Um, and under this law, we have uh, e exceptionally high penalties for journalists who report um, information that could be in the public interest, but is, there, but is regarded as secret information. Um, now, we haven't yet seen how that exactly will be applied against journalists. There's a small taste of it came yesterday with the announcement that against Taraf newspaper and Mehmet Baransu, there's uh, a big prosecution now for uh, state, leaking state secrets and uh, publishing state secrets um, by publishing um, the record of the National Security Council meeting in which the plan to uh, get rid of the Gulen movement was first discussed. Uh, now that, is, of course, is in directly in the public interest. That's um, a record that deserves to be published uh, and for people to know about. People have an interest in knowing about that. So uh, they are now facing, and I haven't yet seen the indictment myself, 52 years uh, in prison, possible imprisonment for those crimes. Um, so is that a taste of what is to come with the new National Intelligence Agency law? That's the question. Um, now, that law also provides uh, great access to private data, um, and particularly the phone, phone calls of foreigners um, and, and, any, and phone calls that are regarded um, as being somehow pertaining to national security concerns. So there, it's very vaguely drawn, the law, and it allows for uh, preventative listening, as it's called, uh, to uh, a great number of uh, telecommunications uh, following of emails, etc. Um, it, the law is currently with the, national, it's with the Constitutional Court, um, and we're very much hoping that they will uh, veto great parts of this law. The one part of the law that is very important and very legitimate, in our view, is giving some kind of provision, uh, legal basis for the, um, the peace process uh, with the Kurds. Uh, it was, of course, completely wrong to go after uh, the head of the National Intelligence Agency, Hakan Fidan, two years ago, on the basis that he was in direct communication with Abdullah Öcalan and the PKK. Uh, those talks have to continue, and they're an essential part of forging ahead with a peace process in Turkey, and that's badly needed. 
But this National Intelligence Agency law shouldn't be an excuse to close down all other freedoms and to uh, basically uh, set up a shield of uh, uh, opaqueness uh, and impunity and immunity over uh, the activities of the intelligence agency itself. Um, thank you very much. I, I think it will be a very good uh, day uh, today and tomorrow and uh, look forward to the discussion.